Dear friends, uh, welcome to Supply Chain Academy uh, Inventory Management classes. Today we have a second lesson out of three, and the key topic is placement and quantity placement of inventory and quantity calculations. Safety inventory, or uh, it's also called buffer stock. This is a level of minimum stock identified by company for all time uh, keeping. And the main target here is to reduce shortage of goods and meet certain expected level of demand to be out of uh, shortage in most of cases. The safety inventory calculation methods are very different variety of methods are available uh, on different sources. Uh, there are more complex approaches. We will talk about one of the simple approaches which is uh, based on maximum usage, daily usage of goods multiplied by maximum lead time, again daily, minus average usage uh, on daily basis, uh, multiplied by average lead time, which is also daily. Let's uh, use some example here. We have 15 items maximum used daily based on historical statistics, and the maximum lead time is three days by manufacturer or distributor. Uh, let's say the average uh, usage, daily usage uh, or sales is uh, 12 items and uh, average lead time is 2 days. In this case, we have um, 21 items to be kept as a safety stock uh, by the company. As mentioned, this is one of the simple approaches based on demand and business specifics. Different types of approaches for calculating safety stock can be used. Let's uh, review another approach which is called EOQ, Economic Order Quantity. And the uh, key principle for EOQ is uh, availability of demand focus and certainty on demand, expected demand. Uh, otherwise, this uh, method is not applicable. And EOQ reflects the quantities, economically beneficial quantities, which can be ordered within the given period and time. So let's see the formula for calculating EOQ. It's a square root of 2 multiplied by A multiplied by D divided by V multiplied by R. Where R is ordering cost, D is demand, V is value or cost of item, R is carrying cost. Let's see some example. If A is $20 per order, D is $500 per year, demand is 500 units per year, uh, V is the cost of item or value of item which is $5. R is uh, 0 .2 dollars per each dollar of inventory item per year, and EOQ is in, the, in this case is equal to 141, which means that if we have demand of 500, we should order uh, four times a year to meet demand. Inventory aggregation is a third approach where a company consolidates inventories from different warehouses into under single. A management and replenishment mechanism and the key point here is to reduce uh, risks, consolidate inventory, reduce volumes and uh, inventory costs. Let's see example of uh, first scenario when we have central warehouse supplying goods to different retail warehouses. We have uh, different systems for management, uh, a lot of costs with uh, having separate um, separate uh, places for managing inventory, hiring separate people, etc. And in this case, we have central warehouse keeping all the inventory, uh, doing replenishments, having better control of uh, quantities and uh, having better planning. In this case, company has a possibility to reduce inventory costs and volumes. FIFO and LIFO or FIFO and LIFO, depending on pronunciation, we have a first in first, first out approach, which is sales or internal usage of old inventory purchased first. So you use old inventory purchased uh, first, which is more applicable for perishable goods with limited usage life, like food, chemicals, pharma products. Uh, LIFO or LIFO is last in and last out which means that sales or usage of new inventory purchased first. The approach is more applicable for heavy raw materials such as sand and stones because you cannot move this type of inventory easily and it's not uh, deteriorating uh, over a short span of time. In summary for today's lesson, we uh, conclude that safety stock is a minimum level of stock 
uh, or inventory requirement for companies to ensure business continuity and uh, some level of uh, desirable supply. EOQ model is economic order quantity model, which identifies economic, uh, ben economically beneficial order quantities whenever demand is predictable and known. And the inventory aggregation uh, method is uh, considering consolidation of inventory for uh, having less volume, risk, and costs. Finally, we have a FIFO and LIFO, which uh, terms applied uh, for utilization of items uh, of inventory uh, bought uh, previously or bought uh, recently, uh, depending on uh, type of inventory. Please follow us on LinkedIn, uh, Facebook, and YouTube uh, for further updates and lessons. It was me, Elvin Morsala, with you. I'm thanking you for your attention and interest. Let's learn together for the bright future.